okay in the in the last in the last class we have seen all this kind of a profilings actually for the prof, foreign key profiling and the domain discovery profiling we don't have a license for that and so i'm skipping these concepts uh, the custom profiling the custom profiling in custom profiling means all we have seen all all these uh, all these profile types and the rule based profile and the rule based in the rule based profile we uh, we created uh, some rules right we created uh, some rules and we have a uh, so we uh, already we seen that uh, because of how the data how the data will be uh, if apply the apply the rules on a source data already before to load before to loading we can we can able to see how the suppose if if the business rules are applicable on the source data how the data would be already we have seen for that how to create these rules and all those things suppose initial initial profile has been done and the business has given some uh, some rules and they define uh, some rules and how to define that rules before to this before to this rules rule creations uh, we need to know about uh, one concept uh, reference tables this reference tables will will help help to uh, clean the data and standardize the data let me not reference tables reference tables will have okay reference tables reference tables will help to clean the data as well as standardize the data standardize the data Re refer let me let me show you how to create a reference tables the reference tables we can create in a four ways the first way the first way we can we can create a reference tables through profile results and the second way we can create a, we can create a manually and the th second way we can create we can import a reference tables from flat files and the third thing the fourth thing we can create a reference tables from importing a data importing a database let me sh let me show you in a different ways already we have seen profiles let me run this profile all customers okay. first way first way we can create reference tables through profile result two can create manually create reference tables and import refer reference data from files and the fourth one import reference data from database database tables okay these are the these are the ways to create a reference tables let me run this a profile reason let me show.
customer tire this is a this is a filtered okay profile all customers these are no columns i think we need to remove the filter open okay i will remove the filter column definition now now i removed a filter for uh, to create a reference table yes, i am saving this profile and i am running this profile again results go to results still profile is running yes okay if you if you take this if you if you take this a profile because already we we have seen in a, uh, at the time discussion of a profiling because these are these are my these are only my valid values all rest of the value rest of the values are Is now okay, Oran? Hello? Oran, is now okay? okay okay based upon the based upon the profile results we can create a reference table yes because after after i had after i had uh, uh, profile profiled my source data I, these are these are the these are valid values i want to create 
and then next year time in the future i want to pass only i want to pass only a valid values in the customer tab because i don't want to pass the null one two three these are the not values business business is a defined as a these are the not invalid values so those values don't want to parse it so for this i am selecting i am selecting a profile results just i'm just i'm clicking on a just i'm right clicking send to send to reference table new reference table or existing reference table this is a new reference table just i'm clicking on a new reference tables send it to new reference table let me I'm getting a some issue let me close this uh, tool and let me reopen this okay restarted res close closed and uh, reopen this uh, tool let me go to training go to profiles and open the customer let me go to results okay customer tier customer tier these are the these are the source source file contains a different values but business are defined the only these are the valid values and and business has a defined because in the customer tier only these are the values should be present so just i'm just i'm selecting a, a valid values and just i am right click on the uh, selected part and send it to new reference table send it to new reference table and the pop up will appear for uh, the wizard will appear wizard will pop up for uh, create a create a reference table just give give the name for a reference table reference table valid customer tier valid customer tier next here it is a only one attribute a customer tier and a data type is a string and precision is scale finish okay my now reference table is a created reference table valid customer tier this is the reference table if you open because the reference table once once we created a reference table we can't modify the structure of the reference table we can't modify the definition of the definition of the reference table if you see this in a overview if you see this in a over you let one minute okay once the reference table is created we can't modify the the reference table structure suppose if we want to modify we have to we have to reimport it that's it no way then we can we can modify the content of the reference table suppose if you take if you look into this a reference data because these are the valid values right these are the valid values i sent to reference tables through profile result suppose if you want to add any new records go to go to new and you can create a reference table create a new record this is the way we can create a reference tables through profile results and the second way and the second way we can create a we can create a reference table manually 
how to create a reference table manually just click on this folder just right click on this folder and select the appropriate object i want to create a reference table just click on a reference table reference table has empty here once you once you click on a reference table option that wizard will show you reference table is a, as a empty as empty in the sense because this is a manually create we have to create we have to enter the records enter the records and manually reference table table from flat file and this is that we can import the reference con, reference data content from flat file a reference table from a relational source first let me create a empty empty reference table reference table manual customer tab. yes Warren. hello sir uh, how it will be helpful in real time sir is it like a lookup yes right it's a it's a kind of lookup but but it's a not a lookup table it's a kind of lookup table only but a lookup table is a different this is a reference table is a different if okay. we, yeah but, if, uh, how can we handle the invalid values in real time because it will allow the values present in the reference table right yes right like the values not present in reference table how can we handle it? okay now now the second way of creating a reference tables I'm manually creating a reference tables let me training just click on a folder and go to new and create a reference table reference table has empty next give the appropriate name reference table manual city not city uh, manual give anything okay manual i'm taking a uh, manual country country okay next here here we need to give a the, any reference table should contain a two attributes one is a any reference any manual reference table either manual either importing from file either importing from a database it should contain a two attributes a minimum are two attributes one is a valid one is a other one are the incoming values now let's take this now let's take this example which one is a valid the only one attribute one attribute will be the value rest of all a incoming values now let's say this is a this is a my valid value now i am defining valid see, country and the second one is in country in country in the sense in uh, incoming country okay i'm just creating a reference tables with two attributes only any reference table should contain a minimum two attributes one is a valid and rest you can rest you can create a n number of attributes that is a no problem finish my empty my empty reference table is ready yes now look this a reference table yes these are the these are the uh, attributes once you created a definition because it it won't allow it won't allow to modify the modify the definition but come to data if you look into data because there are no records just i created a manually there are no records i want to i want to enter a manual i want to enter the contents manually 
let me go to profile results country in the in the source data these are the these are the different these are the different values values present in the source data i am taking this is a am the reference table us valid value is a, valid value is a usa in place u dot s dot next uh, u dot s dot a dot u dot s dot a dot sorry this is the this is the valid value usa u dot s dot a dot next us usa is a valid in place us this is the reference table this is the reference table i created for a country in the manual way just save the reference table okay i created i created a manual let me let me show you how to import how to import a reference table from um, flat file i am taking reference notepad okay i am creating a reference table here i am creating a reference tables with a multiple multiple attributes one is one is a valid country rest of will in country one in country two in con see country three you can you can create you can add a n number of attributes one is uh, among them among them one is a uh, one i one is for a valid and you can create a n number of attributes n number of columns that is a uh, no issue what i am doing is usa is a um, u is my valid and u dot s dot these are the different possible values u dot s dot u dot s dot a dot comma u s and also usa also, uh, and also usa in dot country 4 okay file save as country reference data country reference data okay i'm i'm importing that content i'm importing that content from file just to go to click on the folder new reference table from flat file reference table from flat file flat file name on a desktop country reference data name country reference data actually reference r e f e r e n c reference table from flat file reference table flat file country reference data okay this is the this is a just a name and next it's the same as a file import 
import column names from line first line comma is the delimiter next in this in this attributes which is the valid value we we have to we have to define which is the valid one among the that attributes this is i selected this is my valid attribute valid value finish okay now the reference table now the reference table is created and go to data and how this reference table helpful because this reference da reference table will will replace a with a valid value with all these possible values and the same way this this also will replace replace a valid value with this all the possible values i am creating another one usa usa save this is the, this is the way we can create a reference tables Re reference ta reference tables through profile result manual creation import import a reference data from files and import a data from a database al database also it is the same thing just to try yourself to import uh, any reference data with, uh, from a relational database now now the reference table concept is a clear Varun, you are clear the reference table concept okay now now i am going to a uh, rules a rule rule is a nothing but a specific requirement a piece of requirement rule rule is a nothing but a, a spe specific task and it's a kind of a piece of requirement how to create these rules rules we can create rules we can create through a maplets how to create a rule just let me show you this how to create rules just click on a training folder just go to new you can see here a maplet don't confuse because there is a no there is a no other object for a rule just we have we can create a rules through maplet designer only just click on a maplet just give the name as a rule 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 customer tire t i e r customer tire already it is present customer tire customer tire 1 okay now i am creating a rule customer tire 1 finish now the maplet designer will open i hope you know the what is a maplet <clears throat> actually we know the maplet and here what is the rule because we are creating a, we are creating a rule in a uh, maplet but why don't we just why don't we uh, uh, create a maplet and why don't we use uh, using use that maplet wherever we want why do you want to rule because in the rule there there is a there is a uh, small difference in a rule and a maplet maplet in the maplet we can create we can use uh, any of the transformation either passive transformation either active transformation that maplet 
we can create with the active transformations as well as the passive transformations. But rule has a limitation. In the rule, we we have to use a only active transformation. Rule will allow you to only active transformations. And the second thing, in the maplet maplet we can't call in the profiles profile and all those things but rule we can we can call in the profiles and all those things if you see if you see this profile i could called i could call the rules rule c here but i can't call the maplet to profile and also other limitation is rule doesn't allow the active transformation now now let, let's start the maplet just add the maplet input just input maplet input here need to add a input port go to go to properties you if you go to properties you can see this uh, general because this is the this is the name ports just i'm adding a port one port in customer tire string 10 okay just i'm saving i'm i'm taking a only one input and i'm taking this input and i will i will convert this convert this input value into a valid value just i'm showing a, just i'm showing a rule you don't bother about this so which transformation i am using I will I will explain this uh, transformation later. Add a transformation. Parser. Token parser finish. The parser. Don't worry about this uh, parser transformation. In the next coming upcoming sessions, I will tell you this uh, parsers. Port. Strategy. Can we drag the transformation from the left side tab? It will show you the transformation. Right? Which one? This is a. Uh, this is our one. Yeah, or these as uh, these are transformations, right? Yes, these are the transformations. I am creating a map. I am creating a, uh, a rule, but the rule also, rule also, we have we can create through a maplet only. Okay, so we can drag and drop those transformations also, right? Yes, right. Oh. We, yes, we can we can drag and drop, and also because the right just a right click on add a transformation, and this this is a way this is a way also we can add it. That is a no problem. Okay. Okay, parser transformation. Go to properties. Once you in the in the workspace, whatever the transformation you selected, that is the active that is uh, oh, that is that the properties will appear in the downside down the property pane. Strategies. Just I'm creating the one strategy. Parser. Don't worry about this a parser transformation now. I will in the upcoming class we will discuss that reference table here I am using a reference table okay. which reference table we want to use reference table customer tag profile result valid customer tag Outputs creating output out customer type finish
okay i i create i implemented a logic in the parser transformation and i am passing the maplet output okay maplet output is a customer tire out i am adding yes. arrange all iconic just to validate this just to go to right click on any empty workspace just validate maplet no problems found this is a maplet but i want to i want to create a rule just to right click on the workspace here are you able to see this option validate as validate as either you can maplet or rule now i want to validate as a rule no problems found now now it is converted as a rule earlier it was a maplet now it has a converted as a rule you are clear right okay now just let me show you suppose if i add a, any active transformation in the in the maplet suppose if i add any active transformation in the rule add a transformation filter is a active transformation right filter transformation or active arrange all iconic just let's let's try to validate as a rule invalid see log more information because invalid because why because if you add any rule any active transformation in the rule you can't validate as a rule just a minute just a minute varun rule lo maplet maplet lo rule okay now let's see this because if i if i add a active transformation in the rule now just let me validate as a rule okay this is the error instance filter cannot be used in a rule since it is active so we can't use any active transformation in the rule let me remove this yeah. and save validate as a rule now no problems found okay you can observe the you can observe the in the rule in the maplets all the rules and maplets will fall under this category but you can see the difference rule rule is contain this this icon and maplet contains this icon let me switch to maplet we can switch to we can switch to rule to maplet and maplet to rule that is no problem yes now the maplet icon is this and the rule rule is this uh, let me validate as a rule no problem spawn just i am saving this yeah, i am renaming this uh, rename customer tag rule parse 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 okay just okay renamed that and i am creating a another rule for a country because this is this will just this will just parse the valid values and the the country rule will replace replace valid with the valid values let me show you that let me create a rule new go to maplet 
it's a rule rule country replace replace valid replace valids okay finish okay take a input maplet input okay and take a parser transformation add a one port in country just select the transformation and and check the properties properties data viewer and progress and all those things data viewer and ports ports in the ports section you can see we can see the all the input output ports strategy i am creating a strategy don't bother about this now don't bother about the strategies and all those things once we jump into parser transformation i will tell you this parser parser country input is input is in country and go to next reference table replace matches with the valid values just select the training uh country reference data table manual country i am using this manual country okay output is creating a new output out country okay finish add a output less okay the, now this is the maplet i am validating as a rule okay no problems found save now i converted this as a rule this is this is the way of creating a rules and let me let me show you this how how we use this in a mapping let me just go to training new mapping just a mapping data standard data standardize okay let me take this a source is a source is a customer tier not sorry not customer tier all customers taking as a input read and now let me let me reuse that rules rules i want to rule customer tier parts this is this is this is expecting one input and output will give customer tier and the country country rule also replace a valids this is a country now run this run this expression you it this tool idq tool because it is a very flexible tool this is a only a single interface we suppose if we want to debug instantly we can debug the data now let's see this just a right click click on a run data viewer 
just let me just run data viewer click on run data viewer at any point of any transformation we can see the results in instantly yes if you see this out customer tag because this is the only you can see only a valid values no other values this is what we implemented right in the rule this is what we implemented now did you got how the reference tables we used and how the rules we created and if you take a if you take a country all or out country sorry what is this happen and different values are sir let me check this uh, rule country rule sorry actually we didn't use this option in the execute data sir that so it's a target key data huh execute okay at any point of time we can debug it because if you see this i made some mistake because immediately it is showing because it passed only valid values so what i did wrong is because here i didn't select this replace option go to properties edit yes a replace option i didn't select that replace option so that's why i parsed only that values now let now run this run this uh, rule run data viewer now only usa values has came because what i select is because all the in, all the incoming incoming values wants to replace with a valid value if you see this uh, reference table if you see this uh, reference content these are the this is the valid value these are all the possible values input in incoming possible values the same has the same has uh, done uh, by rule right all the values will replace by usa no other values if you, if we want to if we want to do a profiling we can do a profiling at this point of time also let me close this let me show you profile on this if we want to profile we can profile on this also this is a called midstream profiling if you see this are results out country only only distinct values are two distinct values and this is a empty string usa all the rest are this one and nulls and all those things all will converted as a empty string this is the way of doing a midstream profiling now you are clear about this right because of how the how the created rules and how how we can uh, uh, use this uh, use this uh, rules in a mapping implementation because R rules already we created for a rule based profiling that the same rules we can reuse in a mapping right in the idq tool this is a very flexible tool you if you want to do debug any at any point of time just you go to right click and just click on a run data viewer yes what are the values are not a valid values that that attribute that record will replace with that with a empty string
yes this is about this is about a rule creation and a reference table creation you are clear right 